Hi, Pipe Smokers. This is Paul the Pipe Guy, live from Rochester, New York, in the United States of America. And we have another tobacco review for you. I may be doing a couple uh, tonight, because I do have six of them, uh, new blends that came in. And uh, this one is by Cornell and Deal. It's called Autumn Evening. Yeah, autumn evening, and we're actually just about ready to enter early autumn uh, in Rochester, New York. It's uh, the 13th, actually Friday the 13th of August of 2021, <clears throat> and uh, Cornell and Deal actually put this uh, tobacco in the tin on October 6th of 2020. So it's been in there just slight of a year. Let's read what Cornell and Deal has to say about their product. Autumn Evening Our proprietary Red Virginia Cavendish is delicately cased with natural maple, resulting in our best-selling aromatic blend. Autumn evening's captivatingly nuanced complexity uh, will stimulate the smoker while those nearby will be entranced by the inviting fragrance. Cornell and Deal. Ooh. A lot of promises there. So, let's open her up. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah. And, ooh, it smells like maple syrup. Mm. That was the first smell that I got out of that, <clears throat> was the maple syrup, then I could smell the red uh, Virginias and so forth. Ah, oh, yeah, and it's packed in that tin like that, and... The bowl that we're going to be smoking it in is the one that you watch me transform from a cruddy old junker pipe to, uh, it's pretty good looking now, uh, gorgeous briar. This is my Dr. Graybow Riviera, no bowl number on it, no filter, nothing. It does have, instead of the white club, it has a yellow club. I still haven't looked that up to try to date this pipe. I would guess, if I had to guess, this must be from the 40s or 50s, I'm guessing. And it has a phenomenal draw on it, so let's load her up. Yeah. We might be doing a couple of tobacco reviews tonight, because... Like I said, I got six new blends in. Would you guys like to see more than one tobacco review this evening? Because if you want, I will. All right, so we have that in there. Got my little pipe tool here. Tamp that baby down somewhat firmly. Maybe a little firmer. Ooh. I can definitely taste the maple in this. Right off the bat. This should be good. Ah, yes. So, here we go. We're going to light her up in our Dr. Graybow Riviera that I polished up and cleaned the stem all out. There was so much tar and buildup in here. I had to go soak it in OxyClean for 24 hours. Go through it with about 10 different pipe cleaners with soaked in Everclear, which is 95% alcohol. Ah, yeah. So here we are. Mm. 
car, car light there. And this is the first time I've ever smoked this Dr. Dre bow. I wanted to make sure I had it all cleaned out and sanitized and polished up. And Ooh. That creates a lot of smoke. Definitely a medium bodied smoke. I wouldn't call it a very extremely smooth smoke, but it's not very bold either. It's kind of in between. Burns extremely well. It is a cool smoke. I like it. I don't know if this would be really an all-day smoke. Um, definitely maybe in the morning or late at night. It is kind of a little bit strong. I can see this, and with some aromatics it does that. It will give you a little tongue bite, but... I'd rate this a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, I When I smoke a pipe, I can't smell the room note. I just can't. I don't know why. My son, he comes over, he lights up a bowl, and I can definitely smell the room note. But if I'm smoking it, I can't smell the room note. So I can't tell you about that. Maybe I'm smoking it too hard. Because it does burn really, really well. I think this is one of those blends that you just kind of slowly sip on. Yeah, you can taste the maple on it, that's for sure. It has a medium to faint maple backdrop taste. Yeah. I can sense the nicotine content in this is pretty high because I'm already beginning to almost feel myself hiccup and I haven't smoked a bowl yet before this one. This just burns really, really good. I mean, I was chugging on it like a freight train before because some of these are, blends are really damp and this one's pretty dry and I think you need to smoke this one a, a special way. Autumn Evening by Cornell and Deal. I think you need to smoke it really lightly. It'd be like the perfect tobacco to sit and have a conversation with another pipe smoker. It's not going to go out on you. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this bowl. Hope you enjoyed our pipe review on the Cornell and Deal Autumn Evening. Yeah. I love that. Mm, smells like maple syrup. Anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy live from Rochester, New York. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Happy pipe smoking, pipe smokers. And should I do some more tobacco reviews tonight? I'm sitting around the living room. I'm kind of bored. <laughs> Over and out.